there, thank you for tuning in to Pretty Tips. This is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you my brush collection. Now I know not everyone can afford MAC brushes, um, and I don't own all MAC brushes. All my brushes are actually from a lot of random places. So I'm going to show you today my brushes, and it's, you know, a very good alternative to MAC brushes, and as well, you can, you know, you can do all kinds of looks, and still be able to pull off, you know, great looks without having to spend a lot of money. So the first brush I'm going to show you is by Sonia Kashuk. And it is a highlighting brush. And as you can see, it's got, um, you know, two sets of fibers. And this is really wonderful for stippling. If you are just starting out learning how to stipple, this is a great brush to use. It's a good alternative to the Max 187. Um, obviously, it's not as dense, but it's only $13 as, you know, compared to, I don't know how much the Mac one is. I know it's a lot more than $13. Um, the next brush I'm going to show you is my very first foundation brush, and it says foundation. I bought this at Walmart when I was in high school. And it's really, really good, and I think I spent maybe like $4 on it. It's not too streaky. It's really, really soft, and I want to say that it's synthetic fibers as well, so it's, you know, it's a really good foundation brush and really cheap. Another thing I want to add um, to application of foundation is the Blending Sponge by Sonia Kashuk. This is $10 at Target, and I think Makeup by Tiffany D, um, you know, recommended it and I love it. I just moistened it a little bit. This one's really dirty because I used it this morning. But it's really good for blending foundation and concealer. It looks makes you look flawless. So another good buy. The other brushes I'm going to show you are my favorite. I think all of them are my favorite. But these three brushes I bought at Michael's Craft Superstore. Or not Craft Superstore. Michael's Craft Store. And this first one here Let's see if you can see it. It's an uh, angle brush. And this is by Low Cornell. And it is really, really good for um, gel liner. I really, really like using that for gel liner. And it's really tiny, so you can get really precise. If you want to get a little more precise, there's this one also by Low Cornell. See? And it's an angular brush, and it's got a tiny little angle at the tip. So really good for winging out, um, you know, those cat eyes and gel liner. And then this other one is a fan brush, again by Low Cornell, and really good for doing lower um, bottom lashes, doing the mascara on bottom lashes. This other brush is by Studio Basic, and I bought this at Ulta, and it's really soft and it's really good for packing on the color and it's a little bit wider so you can pack it you know all over your lid now the angle brushes that I have, or not angle brushes, sorry the crease brushes that I have I have um, this one by Sonia Kashuk I think it was like I want to say five dollars and it's really soft and it's really good at getting a precise crease and then I have the one that Makeup Geek recommended by Essence of Beauty. I bought it at CVS. And this one's really soft. And I love using this for the crease as well. And it's, you know, a little bit more precise. It's a little more pointed um, at the tip. And then I have this brush here also. It's part of that duo, the Essence of Beauty duo. And this is really soft, but it's like a pencil brush. You can use it, you know, for eyeliner for your brows or whatever and that one works really good now another one you can use for um, that pencil type brush is this one it's a dome round by Low Cornell and this one's a little bit stiffer than the Essence of Beauty one but those ones are really good alternatives to the, two, the Max 219 I have this brush as well Low Cornell again it's a mop mop brush and this is great on the lid for packing on color. This brush is by Sonia, excuse me, Sonia Kashuk and it is a miniature blending brush and it's really really good 
for doing, you know, kind of precise detailing. You can use it for eyebrows, even line, you know, doing a liner. Um, really good for blending and, like I said, for smaller details. Um, I have two brushes here that are angled. Um, this one is by Sheer Cover. I used to actually be a subscriber to Sheer Cover, but I hated how they took money <laughs> out of my account every, like, three months. So I canceled that membership. Um, that one is really good for doing blush. And then I have this smaller one um, by Sonia Kashuk. And this one is really good for um, doing the creases, or doing contouring and highlighting. And, of course, it's good for blush as well. And then my last three brushes I have in here are, of course, my MAC brushes. It's the only MAC brushes I have. You know, I plan on buying more, but um, I do love my other brushes from, you know, my random places. This is the MAC 188. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of blush on there. I really like using it for blush and highlighting. Um, also, I, you know, you can use it for stippling foundation. I, I really, honestly, rarely use it for that. And then my 217 brush um, by MAC you know, recommended by Makeup Geek, by Marlena from Makeup Geek, and I love this brush for creases. But also, um, when I bought this brush, the makeup artist at MAC, it was at a Macy's counter, she said that is really, really wonderful for um, doing sound, or doing, well, what am I trying to say? She said it was really wonderful for doing um, concealer, so I've tried it for concealer, and it works great. It blends it in beautifully. I really love that for concealer. And last but not least, this one is the 266 by MAC. And it's a little angled brush. And it's really, really good for um, doing eyebrows. Eyebrows and um, liner when you want to do shadow liner. So that's it. And those are my brushes. There's Obviously more I didn't mention, but those are basically the ones I use every single day. And if you have any questions on any of them, um, if you want to know prices, I know I didn't mention the price on all of the brushes, but if you kind of want to know roughly, you know, where to get them or how much they are, go ahead and leave me a comment. And I have more videos to come, so please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.